writing a thesis with the help of AI tools doesn't mean that you can rely on a single tool to write your entire thesis. To take maximum benefits from all these platforms which are providing you academic writing services, you have to adopt a process and have to choose specific AI tools which are going to help you in that specific step. So in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can choose a set of tools including paid and free options to write a professional thesis and how you can use ethically these AI tools that your supervisor and your institute can't object. Before moving forward, you can find the links of all these tools from the description below. Now let's dive into the details. For writing a thesis, first and foremost step is to develop the outline of each chapter of your document and for that purpose I have spoke so many times in my previous videos, you can use any tool of Google and nowadays Google AI Studio is leading the market and you have to feed this tool about, about your topic and while prompting this tool, you have to keep this in mind that all the instruction you provide this tool should be clear and your prompt covering all the details which are necessary to develop the perfect outline. For example, if my topic is what are the application scope and emerging trends of green solvents in chemistry? So for developing the outline of each chapter, I have to feed this tool very clearly about aims and objectives, research cap, research problem, questions and proposed methodology, which I'm going to use. So at the moment, I'm not having any kind of for these details, for example, so I can use Google AI Studio even to get some ideas for brainstorming and to finalize all these parameters for my PhD studies. So I will feed the tool. This is my PhD research topic, give me one research problem, three research questions, research cap, aims and objectives and proposed research methodology for my PhD studies. At this stage, you can spend more time on this tool and can ask uh, for relevant research literature to develop the research cap and then for aims and objectives and methodology and this tool will provide you relevant literature with clickable links which you can study assess and move forward step by step at the moment i'm just going to do a practice so you can see that this is the uh, research uh, PhD research on green chemistry solvents in chemistry. This is the research problem. These are the research questions according to my requirement. This is the research gap. While numerous studies have explored individual green solvents for specific application, there is a need for a holistic and comparative analysis of their performance limitations and emerging trends across a broader range of chemical processes. And these are the aims and these are the objectives. I can even work at this step and can definitely make changes according to my requirement. Then these are the research methodologies which I use. So I will copy all these details just to develop the outline. At this moment, I'm feeding the tool to develop the outline of entire PhD thesis covering these details with a word range of approximate 100,000. If you are a beginner and don't know the entire structure of your introduction chapter, how you have to build the flow of your writing and from where you have to start and how you have to connect one section to another section, this outline is going miracle for you and going to solve this problem because this outline is not only professional, covering all the details, including the approximate word count you have to keep in each chapter but this is a highly highly target i'm just going to uh, show you a highlight of this like uh, you have to definitely build the background and significance of your study and then you will move forward and talk about the detail overview historical use of solvents in chemical processes and then you will talk about growing global concerns regarding sustainability and need of greener chemical practices and all that and then you will pitch your research problem statement research questions then you will talk about the research cap then aims and objectives thesis structure what you are going to cover in each chapter and then contribution of the knowledge again you can even enhance this outline by developing each uh, chapter outline separately and you can expand this outline in more details by independently developing the outline of each chapter with the help of this tool. Now when you have done with the development of outline, now you have to move forward and have to collect the literature and have to start writing. Now you can gather the literature by keeping in view the focus keywords and for focusing keywords you can again take the help of Google AI Studio which helps you to which you can use for your literature search. 
searching the literature you need some search on a broader spectrum and some for specific class of green solvents and for application of chemistry for each section for that purpose you can even use this outline where you will uh, pick some important terms from each of your chapter and you can paste them in the literature searching software so you can even use these keywords so for example we are going to use this specific keyword and to get the literature there is no ai tool better than consensus before proceeding the consensus you can apply the filters where you can check the desired methodologies you want to follow the specific journals the domains and all that consensus ai will provide you a brief summary of the literature where you can find the overview of the information which literature is quoting you against your query and not only this you will definitely get access to the list of the references which have been quoted in the above summary and you can quickly look at the citations year of publication quick study snapshot you will get about study count methods outcomes and results of that paper and this way you can even save that paper to your library and and even you can create uh, your library in this tool and you can even share that paper and all that so in this way you can start studying and start getting idea about the topic about the most important and relevant literature by using consensus and the exciting news is that you can access consensus in free by using my promo code rizwana100 and you can enjoy a premium feature for one year of this tool in free now after getting literature you have to go for the writing now either you can write the document from your own references and for that purpose you can use mystylist.ai this is a tool which is going to help you to write your thesis from your collected literature otherwise there is an ai tool which i like most and i prefer in all my paid and free workshops that use site.ai for writing site offer you multiple features you can check them by clicking its product tab and you can see list of features which site ai is offering you and they are crucial for every researcher you can use the assistance feature for writing and we are going to explore this feature here in detail then you can search the literature and you will find amazing citation against each query and site.ai offers you amazing customization to make your searches more precise and accurate you can select the section of the paper you want to keep in in your searches you can select the type of citations either supporting contrasting and mentioning you can see the limit of citation you want to keep in, in your searches the type of journals affiliation institutes and many more and you will find very unique citations at this platform and the beautiful thing about site.ai is that it have its own database and they are updating their database on a regular basis which is again good for you to get all the references get all the literature against your query from one platform so this is the related so these are the research papers which i get with the mentioned section and the highlights of the specific information which have been included in that paper for my query and tool is 99 percent sure that this paper is most related against your query so you can use this tool for literature gathering for building your own dashboard for reference check here you can check the quality of reference in your document after completing it and this tool will suggest to that what is the health of the each reference and which reference should be replaced so we are going to take the assistance of uh, its writing feature and to enter the query here you have to give the prospect of your writing here you can feed the tool about the title of your phd topic and then you have to feed the tool that by keeping in view that title write the 2000 words information about this specific subheading of my topic this tool will go through 11 steps to bring the answer of your query and you will see that all the information you get with the site.ai will come with the in-text citation placing the cursor on that citation the specific portion of that paper will be highlighted from where that information have been gathered and you can see the details here of the quality of citations and all that and by clicking on the site feature you can copy the citation for your document and by clicking on the generation citation style you can select the style you want to keep it in your document not only this you can click on this reference and can access the detail of that 
reference on the right side of the tool here you will get some more quick snapshot of the literature of that paper and you can even see the full view of that paper and that is crucial for cross-checking the information this tool is providing you you can save this in your library or you can cite it or you can uh, access with the article galaxy so this is the detail of the so this is the information that we get about the detail overview of historical use of solvent in chemical process academic tone and the text you get with the help of side AI, ai is amazing it's fulfilling the needs of your academic writing as you can see the historical use of solvents in chemical processes has undergone significant transformations reflecting both advances in understanding chemical interactions and evolving environmental standards so the text is same human no robotic vibes you will see in this text but the bad thing is that definitely this text is a ai plagiarism and you have to rewrite it make it human and for before final submission of your document when you look at the bottom of your, this document you can customize your query you can prefer recent references you can switch to search you can show these results uh, ask this tool to show these results in a table format you can expand the response you can use the abstracts of those papers only to gather the information for example we ask to expand the information which most of the people are concerned and even you can write here the number of words and some i.ai will provide you response by keeping in mind those number of words and that can be less or more you can even ask sci.ai to write the details in headings or subheadings and in the in, in the numbering form and even you can uh, paste your data here and you can write the discussion of your data for your result and discussion chapter with references or without references you can change the settings here that always use reference or let assistant decide or never use references so for example if you are writing the discussion you should check any of them and you have to definitely said never use the reference so in my case i uh, keep the uh, let assistant decide or i can even check it, it uh, as I always use the assistance specific evidence sources both abstract or citation statements only specific dashboard you want to consider while writing this document because dashboard means your specific library you want to consider while writing your document and you can analyze the document and before don't forget to press apply so uh, this tool is amazing have great potential for writing and there is a no tool till date which i will say that is compatible to sci.ai for writing the literature with appropriate citations another option if you are looking for some other options and that is the research poll which is also providing you to write literature review about any document any topic in by opening its literature review section here you can put your query you have to select the sources either you can build your own library and can write all the writings from the references which you have put in the library you have to select your field of study you have to select the format of the literature review you want to write and then you just have to click on the search bar here you will get all the writing within text citations but here you don't have any option to customize your query to explain the tool what you are wanting and how the format will be and all the information you will get here again also come with the references with index citation with the clickable links of the papers so you can verify the source by just clicking on the source you can access each link in research bar just by clicking on that reference and all the information you get will be highly in academic tone and you can definitely uh, expand this information it's ai built-in feature and can ask research poll uh, to can cite this and you can change the tune you can translate it you can expand rephrase it summarize it make it longer make it shorter so this tool is providing you multiple features you can explore it by clicking on all its feature which are integrated here you can find the list of references you can serve the literature and you can build your library you can see the paper insights you can enhance the tone of your writing just by pasting your original content here and this tool is going to provide you a better output with a better writing quality now when you have done with the writing and all of your thesis have been done you can even write your discussion with the help of site.ai and to access the site.ai again you can use a promo code activate 50 you will find all these discount codes in the description and for writing your document with ai tools your document is not safe for submission because your document will be AI plagiarized in Turnitin report. And for that purpose, you have to use Hicks Bypass. Hicks Bypass will 
help you to bypass your AI written content and will help you to convert into human written content. Beautiful thing about Higgs bypass is that that you can change the results for in four different modes. For example, if you don't like the results in a fast mode, you can change into balanced and you will get completely different results and aggressive and latest modes definitely help you to get more different kind of uh, rephrase content of your document and this tool is going to help you to bypass ai plagiarism almost 100 percent and also help you to rephrasing your document because when you use traditional rephrasing tools like quillboard or grammarly they are making your content ai plagiarized and not safe anymore so for paraphrasing and to remove the ai from your content for both cases you can use hicks bypass this is safe to use tool is going to tackle all of your plagiarism and ai plagiarism issues in one so writing your thesis with the help of ai tools is tricky and you have to spend some time with these ai tools you can buy either paid subscriptions of them for the time you need to use these ai tools because this is again much cheaper and less frustrating as compared to the time which you spend on experimenting on free tools and definitely will save your time and energy if you need any help to draft the structure of your thesis or you're looking for any kind of academic editing and proofreading assistance we are available at the website link is below or you can reach us out from the chat section there if you found this video useful don't forget to share it with your other colleagues and if you still have not subscribed my channel must subscribe it for these kind of updates and free information i will see you in another video till then take care of yourself bye bye